Alright, good morning YouTube! This is Tim the Enchanter with a brand new Let's Play of Warbands Bushido. This is take two on this. I already went through the tutorial, uh, but this game appears to require a constant online connection and if your connection is disrupted because you have terrible internet service from uh, Windstream, then it crashes. Or at least that's what happened the first time. We'll see. Hopefully that was just a one-time fluke. Uh, anyway, this is a, it looks like a tabletop simulation. Again, I have not really played this at all. Uh, I'm pretty much doing this site unseen. Uh, so you can check it out and determine for yourself, do I want to spend money on this or not? Um, it, it, it is on Steam for $7.99, but then also appears to include microtransactions. Uh, so normally, I think if you're going to base your game on microtransactions, you probably need to make it free to play, especially uh, when it's new and you're just starting out. But we'll see. Um, again, it, it does, it certainly, it looks good um, as far as the, the art, the aesthetics, um, the, the tabletop look, as you can see, um, you know, it's a, a hex-based um, tabletop game with, with virtual miniatures. Pickings are slim with enemies all around us. They look like some worthless peasant scum. I've trained one of them myself, master. All right, so we are we are the worthless peasant scum here. Right, old man, let's get this over with. Um, yeah, the voice acting... Um, maybe I should make a voice acting mod. All right, so uh, you've got these little cards here. Um, your points here are how much it costs to use these. So right now I have 10 points available. Um, I think, oh, these are the bad guys. I think I'm the one in gray. So I've got, you can right click uh, to see what your people can do. Uh, I've got the Yumi guard. He can move three. He gets, uh, um, shoot, I don't know what all this means. I think this is, this is how much he can move. So he can move up to, yeah, one, two, three spaces in any direction. Uh, he has basically two hit points um, and two, oh, armor. So his, his basics are one, two, and three. Um, and apparently you can level up. He needs to be level three to unlock steady aim. Does he have steady aim? So I don't know what all these cards are for, if these are cards that everybody has or just certain people. Uh, you've got some... Alright, well apparently I have to... Now you right click to attack. Oh, these are the people we're attacking. Well... Alright, so how do I make him shoot? Uh, by the way, you can click and hold that moves the screen around. Oh, well that's, oh, no wonder. Well, that's, that's him that's the 224. All right, so, oh, maybe the agility determines who goes first. All right, so I guess we'll move our spear guy over here. Um, so it rolls dice. Uh, if you roll a skull... Um, that means that's, I think that's your attack result. Basically, uh, I think it's whoever rolls more. So that time I rolled one skull, the bad guy rolled two, uh, which is why he hit me for one. Um, our archer, now here you can see right now this thing is in the way. Uh, and my teammate is in the way. Uh, so I can either hide behind here. If I get right up against it, I don't get a shooting penalty. Um, I also, if I move, I will get a shooting penalty also. Uh, so I have to decide what I want to do. I'm going to go here. Um, and that's all I can do. All right, so I've got a sword guy. My sword guy uh, has three armor, three... Whatever this is, I think that's how many dice he gets to roll, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Um, so he cannot get in the range of anybody, uh, but I guess we're going to run up here. You have to double click, by the way, to move. Uh, so he's going to run up here. Uh, my spear person will all run up here. Um, see what happens. All right, so unable to think clearly. Confused enemy does not attack for... Oh, so I have different orders. Rage Warrior. All right, well, let's let's find out. Um, 
Reckless dash allows you to ignore enemy zones of control. All right. So it seems kind of annoying that I cannot pick which person I get to go first. Like if, like my this guy has to go first because he has the most speed, I guess. Um, so it seems like that kind of limits your tactical options as far as uh, deciding who goes who goes first. Um, yeah, I don't see any way that I can change that. All right, so. Uh, and whenever you hit somebody from close range, there is an automatic counterattack, as you saw last turn. Um, I don't know. Let's see what happens here. So we're going to make him an enraged warrior. So he gets an extra die. Um, so there's the counterattack. So this, this guy just really kind of sucks, and he's going to die. Yeah, so there he goes. He died. Um... This is, this is not going well. Okay, so now I can double click here to shoot at him. Uh, that did nothing. Um, I guess, I don't know if there's any kind of flanking bonus or not, but we're gonna try and see. So we each roll one. So I got a morale point for this thing. That was a, a wash because we both got one skull, I think. I know it's always more impressive to really have no idea what's going on. Uh, but again, I think this will give you a much better impression. A lot of times in videos, um, you know, somebody else has put a lot more thought into it or dug a lot deeper. Uh, so it gives an un unrealistic expectation of, of how much information the game really gives you. Um, so I'm kind of going through this blind just like you all will too. Uh, so we'll learn it together and then you can decide again if you want to give him your money or not. Uh, let's see. So, so this is my sword guy. Again, he only gets two dice. Is there anything, Destiny guys, you one miss and the next dice roll turns into a hit? Uh, so that lets, lets me move. Steady aim. I guess that's just my range person. Uh, well, I guess we'll just try to hit, hit this guy. See what, actually, let's try to hit this guy. Oh, so that tells me, so he's going to get two dice against my one. Um, so I got a extra point. So now I really need to start using this stuff, I guess. Um, oh, well, this would have been handy to be able to use. So are these specific abilities and these are team abilities? It looks like that might be how this works. Um, we're going to turn a miss into a hit. So we roll three dice. Um, all right, so we got two. They got one, so that's how I got a hit there. Um, my archer is in trouble. I really, I need to get him out of there. I probably should have done that last turn. Um, okay, yeah, so apparently when he's surrounded like this, he cannot get away. Um, we are, I guess we'll go ahead and confuse this guy because this guy is stronger. But we definitely need to do something or we're going to die. Alright, so note to self, we want to try to keep the archer out of the way. Although our other guy just dying here real quick did not do us any favors. Alright, so we're going to hit him. Alright, so there we took, so he, again, he got two, we got three, so we hit him for one. Uh, so apparently you have to get him all the way to zero and then hit him again. So it looks like he's out of armor. Um, I think, or maybe... Uh, what happened there? Actually, I think maybe the white is your armor and then the yellow is your actual hit points. So you have to get through the armor. Again, I am, I am totally speculating on how that works. I have no idea. Um... All right, so this guy, again, in, in deep trouble here. I guess I can zoom in more. Oh, surrounded by enemy units. So that gives us a penalty of some sort. It looks like that is the case. So we'll keep trying to see. Nope, took another hit. So he's dead. Um. 
Alright, so that doesn't seem like it'll really help us. So we are going to... Alright, so... Well, that's weird. Why didn't that do anything? Alright, yeah. So there we hit him two into the yellow, so he's running low. Guys with pitch... Man, our archer got took out by guys with pitchforks. Um, I don't know... Let's see. So I'm going to step... I think she should be able to finish him off, so I'm going to step here. Oh, okay, so good to know. So when you move, uh, if you move by somebody, they get a chance to hit you. Oh, and now I can't do anything. So that that was a poor decision on my part. All right, so we took out that guy. Uh, so now it's two on two. The dude with the sword, and is that, it's like a, it's like a club. Huh, all right, oh, so we got knocked back. I don't know what does knockback damage. We're kind of learning this as we go. Good job, club dude. Yeah, I thought that was a sword, but... Oh, so who is this? So this is Kanabo Sanzoku. Um, he has heavy armor, so while a unit has at least one armor, all ranged attacks... Okay, so he gets a bonus against ranged attack. Um, so yeah, so right now he has a total... So this shows us how many armor he started with. Ah, here we go. We lost our connection. Um... So we're going to see if this crashes the game or not. Do 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 do. Trying to reconnect. And again, I don't know if this is this is my ISP or if oh, we made it. All right. Good job. We didn't crash. Uh, either way, it doesn't doesn't look good for uh, the people who made warbands when you have connectivity issues issues like this. And again, really, um, during match play, I should not need a, a constant connection to the internet. That's just a little ridiculous. All right, so we're gonna come up and see if we can finish him off. Um, we got two, he got one. Did I do anything there? I don't even know. Uh, she's gonna run up here and see if we can finish him off. Ah! So we have emerged victorious in our first scenario. Um, they're quite good. If you've been here earlier, we wouldn't have to flee like rats. They should have spelled that F-L-E-A. Get it? Because rats have fleas? Ha <laughs> ha! We're lucky to be alive, Master. Oh, you know what? I forgot the old man voice on this guy. You there! What are you staring at? Go get the job done! Alright, so we got the job done. Victory! Uh, so it looks like we got some in-game currency that we can spend on in-game goodies. At least I think that's how that's going to work. All right. Um, so that was our first uh, scenario. I'll probably go ahead and cut that off there. Um, but it, so check check again for episode two. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, click like if if you like the video. Uh, feel free to subscribe and then check out some of my other let's plays on my channel. Thanks and have a great day.